I went to school for sculpture and uh, I just enjoy you know, being out here in the public and interacting with people and uh, just kind of giving back you know, a lot of different things, painting and drawing. I build stone walls, that's what I do for work. So just building stuff all the time. should have uh, did the finish work on the hand before I released it from the main body of ice. It's just like glass. It just cracks and breaks and from vibration. All kinds of different things. Well, if it was colder, I just put a little water on it and put it back and it freezes itself right back on. But it's only 23 right now. It might work when I get a little water. <laughs> That's great. Or I might have to wait till tonight till it gets colder. I've been carving for 40 years um, with wood, and this is only my second ice sculpture. Yeah, it's only my second time doing ice. My son's into it more than I am. He's supposed to be the one here doing it, but he had an emergency and he couldn't get here, so he called me. Dad, would you go down and carve for me? <laughs> What you do to this side, you do to the other side. And I wish I could have made this a little bit more rounder, but it's going to get there. And it's going to be a person in the moon. We're taking that 600 pounds of ice and whittling it down to maybe 200 pounds to make it look like something presentable. But I know for a fact that once the light hits it, and we, we smooth it all out, it will pop. It will make it, I think it will really look good. But what I really need are my kids. I need my students. I'm the Franklin County Tech School instructor. And this is actually an activity that I've been doing here for years, bringing down students that have been uh, prepared for wor working with a chainsaw and power tools to go ahead and have them create the ice carving themselves. Measure twice, cut once, right? So it's always good to just step away. You can really see it then. You're trying to make a square block into a round block. So don't be afraid sometimes to just take off some ice. I'm a marble sculptor and this kind of fits right into things that I like to do. Carving, sculpting, bringing something to life from a chunk of ice. That's it. This is an angelfish. It has uh, some really good shapes to it that sparkle when they're carved with a piece of ice like that so I chose it because of the angles and uh, the interesting look that it has on the street in, with the light on the bright clear ice. I wanted to make something fun and you know a frog prince is like why not it's, it's kind of a, a fun thing we need, we need a fun thing so that's that's where that idea came from. What's going on in the world we need to care about each other that's and a lot of my work is very focused on political issues, social issues. And right now, and I think it's bringing it out because people understand how much pain other people are going through. So hopefully that compassion will come out more and more to help the world get better. Thank you.